We are back in London to check out some of our favourite pre-loved luxury stores. everyone, Steph here. So today we are in Knightsbridge and we are going to look around some of our favourite pre-love luxury stores. So there are quite a few here in Knightsbridge. Actually, they're not too far away from each other. You can literally walk to them. I will link to them all down below. So if you like the look of anything throughout this video, I advise going to their website, checking out the prices and if the item is still available. Now, if you are a subscriber, you will already know that I am a big fan of pre-loved luxury. I have quite a few pre love pieces in my own designer bag collection. I have found some absolute bargains but also you can find rare pieces that may no longer be available let me know what you're liking the look of in the comments so first stop is going to be Celia and then around the corner from there is Pandora so literally like 30 seconds away and then I'm hoping to head to Bagista and designer exchange to see what they've got in stock with no further ado then let's go and check out what the stores have got first up then is going to be Celia which is literally about five minutes away from Harrods in Knightsbridge. Let's take a quick look in the window. We've got some Dior boxes. This is the smaller of the stores, by the way. So we have some beautiful bags in, some Chanel, some Hermes. We have this Celia Kelly. Oh wow, look at this blue. Oh, we have this Chanel set here. So beautiful, they're all white and wow. This caviar Chanel with a flap on the front in zip closure. This would be absolutely perfect as a work bag. We have quite a few classic flaps here. This beautiful red one, blue. Thank you, bye bye. This white caviar, it's absolutely stunning, mini. We've got a bronze, pink, and silver. We have a 19, one of my favorite bags from Chanel. So this is the same size as my tweed, but this is the hound's tooth. We've got this patchwork one. Oh, I've not seen this one before. And then we have one of the vintage classic flaps, which I think are just incredible. And it has the stitching lines down it. And this one looks like it's in pretty good condition, to be fair. Like it still holds its structure really well. Some nice shoes. And then there's also lots of fashion pieces as well, which I love. I also love following Celia on Instagram because they try these on so you can see like what things look like when they've got new stock. This is quite cute. This little cardigan with little gems on. Oh wow. This dress here. Very nice. And they've got some Gucci shoes down here. I like these with the gems on. Some pearl. And some more fashion pieces here. Pandora now, let's take a look. So many pieces in here. So let's have a look around. Lots of fashion in here as well, which is great if you want to pull a look together. So in this cabinet, what do we have? We have some of the Queen. These are very on trend right now with the coronation just recently happening with the King. Oh wow, look at this Chanel. It's like holographic. It's just like a, maybe a wallet on chain style with silver hardware. That is very, very beautiful. We have a what looks like a reissue here. Honestly, there's just pieces everywhere. It's like a treasure trove. We have a Dior here. Can we see this? I, think I like this Gucci belt. I'm gonna come around this way. Oh, we have Bottega up here. The chain cassette bag in the caramel and the gold. We have some, it looks like Bottega here. These are beautiful. Oh, we have a Mulberry Bayswater. water. See, my mind is just wandering everywhere. So many nice pieces. Oh, we have a Fendi 
carry-all with the FF on. This is in all leather. That's lovely. And then back around here, see if we can get to some of the items. We have a Jimmy Choo here. Very beautiful. Now towards the back of the store. Oh, I like this Prada wicker bucket bag here. That'd be perfect for spring summer. I believe we've got Alexander Wang here, the Rocco bag. This was one of my first ever designer bags, but I had it in black. Whereas that's, and this is a larger size, I had the mini. But honestly, the quality of that bag is exceptional. We have a Chanel tote bag. I quite like this one. I'm not sure what brand this is, although it looks like Todd's. No, Tom Ford, sorry. It is, it's Tom Ford. I can see the TF there. So they have a lot of their new bags now and the leather, oh my gosh. It's like a really big tote bag with a lock on. What a great color. And we have some Louis as well. Oh, here's the changing rooms. Look, you can try shoes on with an outfit. What a fantastic idea. So we have some luggage pieces. Oh my gosh, I've not seen anything quite like this, like the size of it. It's like an oversized laptop case. I really like that. I like the cube shape. It's a bit different to the keeple. Some Demi Rabin. Some graffiti. Some Bernie leather. I love this colour. Like it's one of my favourites from Louis Vuitton. Some Mahana leather. Which is like the perforated leather. And this... Louis here as well. Oh my gosh, look at all these pieces. These are Chanel. Oh. Wow, I've got a dress there. I've got a tweed Chanel dress. Very beautiful. Let's check out, oh wow, this jacket. It's like a long jacket here. And how much does this one cost? So this one is £999 at Pandora for this full length Chanel jacket. I'm sure it would cost a hell of a lot more from Chanel. You can see all these here are Chanel as well, so lots of jackets. I will go around the other side. Very beautiful. Oh my gosh, this top with pearls on. So nice. This probably has to be my favorite section actually, as much as I love the bags. This is just a treasure trove. Oh, tweed skirts. Look at that. And around here, Chanel cardigans, coats, jackets. So pretty. Oh wow. Okay, this is. Look at this. This black jacket here. Really, really nice. This is size 34, and this one retails at £2,799. It says max 20% off, so I don't know if you get like an extra discount on that. Very stunning. And this like dinner jacket. Honestly, I could look at Chanel jackets, I think, all day. So if you're in the market for some vintage Chanel, some really great pieces, at fantastic prices, this would be the first place. I think I would come. Look at this crop jacket. Oh, this would be perfect for spring, summer, wouldn't it? Look at the colours. Which is this one? 2,299. Oh, I love that. Really nice colours in the tweed. Oh, and this one as well. This is just so timeless and classic, isn't it? We've got some Chanel here as well. Not seen a bag like this before from Chanel. That's really nice. Oh, the colours of this are lovely. Like a navy and a taupe. We have a classic flap here with like netting on. And they've actually got a 22 bag. So this is in like a really dark green with like gunmetal hardware. And again, the condition looks really good. So this one retails at £3,899. So this one is below retail, which is very rare to find a 22 for less than retail price. So I doubt this will be around for much longer. Definitely some really nice Chanel pieces. Okay guys, so now we're on the way to Baggy Stone Designer Exchange. I hope they're still open. Look at this wisteria on the buildings in London. Oh my gosh, honestly, so lovely. Okay, so Pandora, 
The range of Chanel jackets was absolutely incredible. And at Celia, the Kelly bags were really beautiful and also the vintage Chanel classic flap. I'm a huge fan of the vintage classic flap. I really do like the big logo on the front of it. I have my vintage square one though, otherwise I would definitely consider it. Now let's head into Bagista. Quite busy right now. Let's have a look at what we've got in the window. Oh wow, we have the Chanel Diana bag. So obviously we've just had the King's coronation. So these feel very on point. We have the Pikatin. We have the cargo one here and we've got orange and gold, Birkin. Oh wow, we have a Kelly there and Celia in brown. I'm just gonna see if this will stop. Yeah, this kind of stops the flickering when I do this. We have a Celine bag. We have another Birkin. This one looks quite wide, like a travel bag and this dual tote bag and some lower bay here. Oh wow, these are all beautiful, but definitely for me, the Celia Kelly in the tan, really, really nice. Let's head in now. So here we are. We have lots of incredible stock here. Some Celine and Chanel. And we have these classic flaps. Beautiful that they. We have some 19 bags. Oh my gosh, this green. So pretty. We have this MS Constance, Chanel Deville and Evelyn, a Lady Dior, and Lower Vey here. Oh, we have some others. Look at these Birkins. This is beautiful. So this is 25, and this looks like a 35 here in black. And this one has silver hardware. And we've got a Chanel Trendy, one of my favorites. This is in the beige color with the gold i was so tempted with a beige but i did decide to go classic i got the black but i still do think about the beige quite a lot actually more deville here we have some chanel more Hermes. this 19. i love it in this green color classic flap in black caviar these are getting harder to get now these saint laurent kate with tassels and we have some mini flaps up here Oh, and also a Sac de Jour and Prada Cahia. We have an Hermes Kelly up there again. The reissue from Chanel. This one has really nice detail. And we've got like an all black one here. Oh, look at this Chanel top handle bag. This is in velvet. These like crystals on the bottom of the handle and also on the CC logo. That is so beautiful we have this mini flap here which is kind of like a woven type fabric this mini dior saddle bag though in this python with like an ombre red and gold hardware i think is absolutely stunning we are going to have to try this one on we have some more dior here we have a small chanel boy bag with fur on we have some so black editions where the hardware is also black. So we've got this Hermes Picatin, you can see the hardware. We have this Chanel classic flap, but with chevron stitching, which is quite nice. And yeah, you can see the hardware here is like a black. We have this mini flap from Chanel. I love this. It's like an iridescent bluey purple with gold hardware. So just to kind of give you an idea of size here, it has a back pocket as well, which you could put your phone in. We have some Chanel boy bags. So these are the medium size. I love this blue one with the gold hardware. That is my favorite. And then up here we have some more classic flaps. So a lot of Chanel, but wow, look at this 19 in this like baby pink. I want to kind of say with almost lilac undertones, it looks so good with the gold hardware. The leather is so soft. I love the 19 bag. Here we have a Hermes Birkin. This is 35. It has palladium hardware some Gucci, some more Chanel, Prada. This Chanel backpack actually we tried on last time but in black. This one here is in beige. We have a Fendi peekaboo in fur and this is in the tobacco colorway. So you've got the FF prints, they have a Fendi bucket bag. These are really popular, the Fendi bucket bag. We have this Saint Laurent here in black. Oh my gosh, look at this tiny Fendi peekaboo, like a micro version. And this looks more like a medium size, the ICU version. This is just an absolute classic, but wow. We need to take a closer look at this. This is the Hermes Kelly. I believe this is a size 32 gold hardware, and this is in a tan croc. This is a forever piece. So let's 
like I say, take a closer look. The colour is so rich. It kind of looks a little bit similar to the Fendi Peekaboo. What do we think? Although I do think ultimately the Kelly is just the most classic bag, isn't it? Now I feel like this adds a level of kind of richness just due to the colour, like to any outfit you'd be able, I definitely think this would work actually better in autumn, winter as opposed to summer. Guys, I've had to voice over this section of the video because the music was so loud in the background and it flagged it on YouTube as a copyright. So if my mouth is moving to different to what I'm saying, that is exactly why. Honestly though, I'm obsessed with the Kelly. We have this Chanel with like a top handle and then one up here, which kind of looks like a classic flat, but it's definitely not because it kind of concertinas out. Quite cool. We have another Chanel 19 here, pink tweed. We have a Deville tote bag, a stripy one, perfect for spring, summer. We have the Evelyn bag from Hermes, lots of colors, the sac du jour. And these pink Chanel bags, I really like this phone case. So this one, they both look, so this one here is in caviar leather, the phone case, the other one is in lamb. I really like the phone case and we have quite a few pieces here which are perfect to take on holiday. So here we have the garden party bag from Hermes and this is the Evelyn. I've never seen an Evelyn bag this big before. We have some Louis Vuitton, a rucksack. We have a huge Hermes her bag up here. Again, perfect for traveling. I actually think I prefer the her bag in this huge size. We have some Goyard. We have some more Louis Vuitton. So here we've got the Goyard tote bag. Some people are choosing this over the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Speaking of which, they do have one here in the MM size. This is the normal monogram canvas. Which one do you prefer? The monogram canvas from Louis or the Goyard? I guess you see less of the Goyard. We have a bucket from Louis Vuitton. We also have the Pochette Felici in monogram, vernis leather, lots of different options here. I'm loving that. We've also got an on the go in the GM size, which is the largest size of this tote. And another Birkin here. We've got a Chanel Gabrielle. I think these are really hard to get now. I don't know if Chanel sell them anymore, but this one has CCs all over it. And it's also like sequins. That is really nice. And this like mini flap, it's like ruched leather detail of that oh wow I wonder is this like a little mini reissue kind of chain bag it's like a wallet on chain but I do like that we have an Hermes bucket bag here I've not seen one of these in person before with gold hardware in red Pickerton a Lady Dior and a Chanel. Oh, we've got a navy 19 up there as well and a navy classic flat. The 19 in this pink colorway. Oh my gosh. It's absolutely stunning. Like I said, I do love the 19. It's quite slouchy, it's very casual. Do we need another one in the collection? If we did, oh my gosh, this pink would definitely be a strong contender. And the mini Dior saddle in the ombre. Someone snap this up before I do. Look at it against black as well. Like it really does just pop. I think you could definitely use this as an evening bag, but also you could wear it in the day if you didn't need to carry a whole lot with you. It will fit a normal size iPhone, but slightly awkwardly. But I still can't just get over the color of this. It's in such fabulous condition as well. And just around the corner from Bagista, we have Designer Exchange. Oh wow. What is over here? We're gonna have to, um, before we hopefully head in here, oh, they've got a Chanel 19. Oh, they've got my YSL Lulu. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be going in a second. Don't worry guys, look at this. Wonderful yeah, really. display of flowers. Oh, this is so gorgeous. And we've got the British flag up here and it's like a rainbow. Oh, I would love this outside of my house. <laughs> it is fabulous. If you're looking for a picture, this is where to come. The Egerton House Hotel for a picture with the flowers. Okay, now let's head back to Designer Exchange. So as promised, a quick look in the window again, a bit more thorough than last time. This YSL Kate, we have this Sac du Jour, there's 19. This looks like it's in a lambskin, I think, 4,500 pounds, below retail, it's beautiful. We have this patent black as well, classic flap. Oh, I like this gold twist lock, very beautiful and the YSL, how much is it? 1,750. I love this bag. Like this is in the colorway that I've got. I absolutely adore it. We have the YSL blogger bag and the Chanel Gabrielle and this Neo. Let's head in. 
We have some Chanel and Hermes here. Oh my gosh, let's take a look. Okay. Chanel re editions. By the way, guys, I do think out of the pre love stores, Designer Exchange has some of the best prices out of all of them. Like, they just seem a lot more reasonable than others. So, if you're looking for a piece, definitely check out their website. We have these patent ones 4,600, 3,100 for this one. This tote bag. Oh, we saw this one last time. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's not sold. It even has like the jewels in the CC. We have this reissue here in velvet, 2,100. Very much playing up to the silent luxury trend. We have this classic flap, like a jumbo. Oh my gosh, no way. Is this 2,800 pounds? Really? That is, these are retail at over £10,000 now, and this is in a beautiful silver. The condition looks really good as well. Cannot believe that price. Mind blowing. Some gorgeous tweed. And then we have this Hermes cupboard of dreams. Look at this. So up here we have the padded Kelly 25. I cannot believe this hasn't sold because. Look how gorgeous that is. We have a Constance here, red one. We have this beautiful Kelly in the green colour. White. Oh, this red and gold. Amazing. 9,500 for this. This is a Birkin 30. This looks like it's in Swift leather, I believe. With silver hardware. Kelly. And some more Birkins down here. So this, wow. This croc one here is 37,000, which again is a great price for a croc, like a full croc, a mare's Birkin bag. This 30 here, 18,000. This one still looks like it has the stickers on, so I'm sure this will be like box fresh. And red there for 10,000. That is a 35. Some more Chanel here. Wow. Look at this. Honestly, when you can get Chanel at these prices, pre-loved, I just don't get why anyone would buy new because you can make such huge savings. This grey caviar with silver hardware, 5,600. We have another, look at this, oh, jumbo. We're going to have to try this one on because it's stunning. 5,155. Navy. This beige colour here. Oh, look at this. In lambskin. 5,400. This little Chanel phone case as well. It's very cute. 1,900 pounds. That is in black caviar leather there. We have a PST tote bag here as well in white. Quite hard to find those now. And some tweed. Gabrielle. And here is the Jumbo Classic flap in lambskin in the most amazing teal colour. Oh wow. Now I'm not a big fan of the classic flap, but I do quite like the jumbo size. And this colour in the lambskin. Honestly the camera is not doing this colour justice. It works so well and I actually really like it with the silver hardware because I think this is quite a cool tone of green. Some Dior, yeah, yeah. Dior yes. book tote not bag, yeah, the so Lady Dior. This is like a beautiful purple. Oh my gosh, look at this. Now reduced down to £2,565. This is one of the older styles with the zipper across the top. So it does have some signs of wear, but I mean, overall, it's in great condition. We have this tweed one here with silver running through it. This would be perfect for spring, summer. And this one is £2,950. Oh wow, this looks like a maybe a limited edition Lady Dior and also one with a floral print on. And some Louis Vuitton. We have a Alma. A little box bag here. 1,615. I cannot believe this is still here. This is the Capucine. I did see this last time. And it's in this beautiful pink. Even the hardware here is in a pink. £3,200. Like these retail at nearly £5,000 now. We also have this red one. This one's even cheaper, 2,200 for this red Capucine. What a showstopper, it has silver hardware. What is this Louis Vuitton like tassel bag? It's a bit different, isn't it? 
tassels here. One thousand two hundred and five pounds. This one's cool. It has like a top handle and it looks like a crossbody strap as well. We have this trunk bag, one thousand six hundred and one pounds. Oh, that's a fantastic price. White with the gold hardware. Louis Vuitton. The Lock Me. Yeah. Beautiful. And the twist lock. And we've got a Palm Springs backpack here from Louis Vuitton. £2,990. So this isn't the mini size, this is like a full size backpack. Even more Louis here. This is different. This has like, is this like a fabric? The logo and it's gold. This one is £715. For a really great size Louis Vuitton bag, but it's a bit different, you know? Some luggage here from Louis. The 19. We'll take a look in a second at the front of the store. Lots of Chanel and Hermes boxes. This Chanel backpack, £2,500. Oh, amazing. Dior, Louis. Oh, look at this Dior bag. It's like red and velvet. We have a boy bag, green, Gucci, like a phone bag. Oh, we have here a Saint Laurent sunset bag. One of my favourite bags from Saint Laurent, actually. And it's in this like holographic silver. Caviar Chanel as well. But let's look at that. That is really, really beautiful. Look at this bag, Fendi. Some crystal Chanel, Goyard. We've even got some Bulgari here. Oh, this Serpenti Forever bag, 1,100. In black and we have it in silver as well which you can kind of see when it reflects the light 1100 oh, we have the soft antigona in the mock rock i've not seen one in mock rock 850 pounds so i have mine over here mine is the smooth leather which you can see and this is the mock rock I love this bag. Fantastic price. These are really hard to get now as well because I think they've discontinued them. Moave, Chanel, Givenchy Antigona here. Dolce and Gabbana. Goyard backpack. £950. This little tote. Bottega. Givenchy again. Wow, some really great pieces. And then over here, oh wow, we have a green croc Fendi peekaboo. Look at this green with the gold. This price is just unreal. £4,500. I know I keep saying that, we've also got a silver Fendi peekaboo there in the larger size. Oh. In like black lizard with gold hardware 2505 also have a yellow one with a blue handle some Gucci Balenciaga I like this Gucci Sylvie it's a really big bag here we have like the raffia and a little croc 7,100 and we have some mulberry up here as well we've got the mini bays water I still cannot get over the price of this peekaboo in croc just over 4,000 pounds it's retail at a lot more and it's just a really beautiful green as well how amazing some of my favorite finds from today's free love shopping vlog I'll be honest, the bag that I'm seriously considering actually purchasing is the Fendi Peekaboo bag, the mini size in the Black Lizard. Like the price of it, I just think it's fantastic. And the Peekaboo is a bag that has been on my radar for a little while. I haven't loved it, but I do really like the mini size. And in that Lizard, it just feels like extra special. So that one was at Designer Exchange. I still haven't stopped thinking about the Chanel jacket situation in Pandora. That was incredible. The vintage Chanel in Celia. If I didn't have my vintage square already, I would consider it. And at Bagista, the pink Chanel 19. Oh, 
chef's kiss i absolutely adore that like it is the most beautiful perfect shade of pink let me know what you have liked the look of in the comments down below if you aren't subscribed already and you are a luxury lover make sure you do there'll be lots more videos like this coming very soon now make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next i'll let my latest video release here for you and over here more luxury shopping in london we're going to be heading to harrods in this video guys there is so much eye candy you aren't going to want to miss it enjoy